Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing a flip through of my new Make It Happen bead journal setup. Um, I don't even know why I started this to begin with, but I ended up, you know, starting it. Um, so let's begin. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when new videos come up. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back and... If you as well can hit the notification bell so you could get notified when new videos come up. And if I can get a thumbs up from everybody, that would be greatly appreciated. So let's begin. Today is February 2nd, which I can't believe we're saying that already. And last night I was like, I got this journal, what should I do with it? Well, I ended up making kind of like a type planner. I'm going to show you what I've used. I used other stickers as well, but I'm going to show you what I used. So one is the journaling doodles. Uh, what did I use out of here? Just like one of these for the beginning. Which is this one here. So that's just the little thing here that I'll put. I am not completely done with this. And look at how cute this is. So I will be doing a lot of stuff with this thing. I use this one the most. I love this one. This one is like my all-time favorite. As you can see, I use a lot of this one. Cut pages, took out stuff. Like, I literally use this one the most. Like, this one I think was the best one. So let me show you what I did here. This is the, you know, how it looks. It says make it happen. It's in that rose gold, which is gorgeous. It's just black and rose gold. It has the elastic, which gives you a lot of room the way they did that elastic. So it looks like that when it's closed. Very gorgeous, very sleek. So when you open it up, you can make this into whatever you want. This is a pocket. In a very large pocket as it is. Like, I don't know how you can see how how it looks like that. It's a pretty good sized pocket. They put the pocket in the front, which is great, but this is gonna add bulk when I start putting stuff in there. This is without a pocket, and look at how it's already bulking up. And as you can see, the pages I've already used. See? So it's gonna get bulky if I use the pocket. So you would probably just need like maybe a few things in there, but that's it. Stickers on the go, whatever. So again, I use this from the journaling doodles. And then when you get inside, you'll see like this page and this page should have been, I should have just put them together, but I didn't. Because I don't like when my page is like this. That's just weird to me. But this is what the B journal, and it says on the, on the bottom, B journal. Every page is numbered, which is great, and it's a dot grid, which is a big size dot. So, like, I already started with my index, and then I put page description. My writing is crappy. Oh, I don't like it. And then I just put 10 and 11. Because the rest of these pages are for, you know, if I need more for you know like the index and stuff so i started on page 10 11. so this is how it looks it's a gorgeous 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 one so, i don't know if i can leave it there but we'll see so as we get into the pages i'm going to show you january so 10 11 was january I started this in January, and this is what the monthly looks like. I drew this out myself, added the stickers, put some washi, and put a little snowflakes everywhere, you know. Put the numbers from this one here. These are what the numbers from. Then I added for my doctor's appointments. Doctor's appointments for the month would be here, and then I just stopped. So I did leave like two pages for that, just in case I want to add something else. 
but I didn't do it like I would for February, because February is when I wanted to start it. Because January was in the middle of the month anyway, when I started it. So this is what February looks like. So this is on page 14. So again, the numbers are from the journaling, the Happy Planner journaling. The date, the days are from there and the month with the sticker. All the pink stickers are from a sticker pack that I had. And then Enjoy Every Moment is from the uh, journaling book. As well as here. Anything in the black is from the journaling. The washi tape I used is this one here. So I used that one throughout the whole, uh, the whole book. So this would be like doctors and you know appointments things I need to do that's important some goals and then the hearts I'll decide what I want to use later well not too much later so that is that one so then when you get into the next page I ended up taping this came from the Dollar Tree and no not the Dollar Tree I'm sorry Target Dollar Spot so I put the sticker be productive in goals this comes off to a separate, you know, you could use it separately. Let me show you where it's from. So it's like a mouse pad kind of thing. So this is perforated. So that'll come off. And then this, you could just do whatever. Put in a planner. You could put it wherever. So I just stick it back here when I'm ready to use more. And then this will be my goals. And then this, I don't know what I'll do yet with it. But then here is page 17, and here's day one, day two. So I just keep it basic, nothing like major. And so I just set it up. And I, I already know like what TV shows I watch. So I'll end up putting that there. Here is Valentine's Day, kept it simple with the girl, with a little heart, Valentine's Day with two lips. So I just love the way this came out. I like these kind of uh, planner type, you know, journals rather than an actual planner because this you can customize yourself. If you needed extra days, you know, like if you needed the whole page for a day, you can do that. I tried sticking, I'm going to start with the month of February and see if I want how I want my days to look. So, like, say in March, I, February was busy, and say this day I needed a, a whole page. Well, instead of tipping in another piece of paper for that day, for March, I know, okay, so let me allow more space or whatever. Or I didn't need all the space, let me make it maybe four to a page, you know, four days to a page. Stuff like that. I'm probably rambling on. But yeah, this is how it came out. I like it. And then I just put like, I love the weekend stickers, you know. So I try to use my stickers up. That's what I'm going to try to do with this. And then I didn't finish anything else for January. But that's how it looks. Like I could have did a day per page. The way this looks like it would land would be like page. Well, no, that wouldn't even work. Because there's no 41 pages. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's all numbered. It's all dot grid. And in the back, like I said, I have that. And another pocket. Who would have thought? But this is my B journal flip through. Please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share with your family and friends. As always, thank you for watching. Let me know how you like it. By giving it a big thumbs up. Thank you. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.